This short video serves as a tie between Laura Schulz's TED Talk, The Surprisingly Logical Mind of Babies, into this mini-series on behavioral political economy and overconfidence and the fatal conceit. The idea from the video is that we're hardwired to subconsciously find causality from the very start of our lives. Seeing causality just makes sense when we think of ourselves as previously being an infant with no understanding of the world. It'd be great if our brain could be really focused on understanding what causes us great harm or injury and what causes us to be safe and fed. The experiments are pretty wild to think about, but from those two sequences that we saw with the babies, with the toys and handing them to their moms, right? From just those four observations, the babies have created two different understandings of what is causing the toy to succeed or fail. In the first case, it seemed as though the right person had the toy. If only that were the case, then the right person could make it work. That was the causal relationship. The toy's problem stemmed from operator error. The person using the toy was at fault. If you infer that a person operating the toy could be at fault, then the reasonable response for the baby with the non-working toy would be to hand it to someone else who might be able to make it work, like mom. And that's exactly what the babies did. We can see that as early as 16 months old, we are creating these causal links about the world around us. We not only observe, but we create relations between the various things we observe in conjunction with one another. In attempting to understand the world around us, we take the small amount of information we have access to, and we find a way to piece that evidence together. We're not hardwired to sit and wonder if the relation is spurious, or if we could understand the relationship better with a larger sample size. Instead, we observe and we relate. So if this is how we create an understanding of our world, then you can think about how limited our understanding of how economics works would actually be, right? If, if we're developing our framework for how we view the world by creating these stories with small sample sizes and relating the causes to the results and seeing the causal connections of everything, how are we to create the story of the idea that the division of labor and individuals focusing on very small tasks in one corner of the world, combined with small tasks of other people in other corners of the world, come together through a spontaneous order and create the economies that we exist in. They create the order that we live in. They create the emergent phenomena that is advanced economies. There's no way for us to make these simple causal connection stories. And thus we have a skewed framework of the economic system. We don't have that built in to our intuitive approach to how an economy must work because we don't have that story. We couldn't create it on our own. And so our story as to how economic interactions unfold and create modern economies, our potential foundation for the way that we think about the world, it's very, very likely to be flimsy at best and very likely to be just flat out wrong.